The Kenyatta University continues to make strides into outer space, being among the few institutions offering a hub for an aerospace engineering program. The institution today entered an MOU and technical agreement with the Maritech Initiative to facilitate training in the engineering of nanosatellites. All these things that we are talking about. Space marks the next area to conquer for the Kenyatta University, having proved itself a series of times as potent in solving problems by responding to emerging issues and taking novel strides. And our students are really, really very aggressive. And the kind of foundation they have had is uh, quite good. Um, another a few things, we are able to uh, make our own uh, um, uh, sanitizers. We don't buy. We are able to have our own uh, um, uh, masks, you know, which are standard, uh, standardized. Uh, they are standard, um, which tells you the kind of school, the kind of university we are. And such was the business of the day today as an MOU was agreed to between the institution and Omaritech initiative that saw the handing off of the Omaritech satellite training kit. Our target basically is in Africa, starting with Kenya. And uh, why satellite is because um, most of the connectivity on GSM, on Wi-Fi, on internet cable is always around um, cities in Africa but most of the population lie in rural, rural areas. So Information is power, and data collection has come of age is a valuable asset, and the miniature satellite innovation is a step in the direction of the continent managing its connectivity in the global sphere. Most of you don't know that a long time ago communication was meant for the, uh, the mighties, the, 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 yeah, those who had the money. And... Uh, it was not a good thing so, to see Dr. Jacob starting a new journey for all African countries to share data. And it's not going to be as expensive as it used to be before. When I, see, when, when I joined the Intersat in 1980, satellites used to Take us 10 years to build one. The satellite prototype, Christian KU Cube Nano Satellite, will help Kenya predict and mitigate agricultural disasters, including the locust menace that debilitated parts of the country in the last two years. Am I talking too fast? But this is something similar. This is, has all the functionality, a lot of the functionality of, uh, of this heptasac kit. Mm. Um, but it's meant for much younger children. This belongs to my son, who's mm. eight, mm -hmm. uh, eight years old. And this only costs like 20,000 shillings. Mm -hmm. So I think part of um, what we can see happening is actually you know, using, having learned about the lessons from this, mm. how to develop and make these locally to equip uh, children in high school uh, how to use these things as well. So mm. uh, this will be going home, uh, but I just wanted to talk about Dr. Jacob Astakti, Vice Chancellor at the Modern State University in Washington, America, noted the need of boosting the quality of engineers by applying a hands-on approach in training them. And I believe this satellite project will be our first project. Based on that, we'll send the MOU. Based on that, we will start looking for funding to support this project. And then that's going to open up the doors for all the other schools to collaborate with K KU. And we believe that KU will be our linkage to other universities also in Kenya. Uh, we want to have partnerships. The Kenyatta University is quite keen to establish a global network with stakeholders in various fields to allow a wider exchange of ideas and access mentors for scholars. Emmanuel Kutosi, KUTV. Thank you so much, Emmanuel Kutosi, for that report.